Next is the type of rounds. I have three type of rounds available for this vehicle. The way you do this is you go to the service tag. It will tell you if you get damaged, do you want to repair automatically or do you want to do it manually? Before you go into combat, you must be repaired fully, so you might as well just click that. What this will do is take X amount of dollars, depending upon your vehicle, and upon coming back to the garage after battle, it will automatically spend that amount to bring this to full repair. The same thing for the ammunition. Now, here we have a choice. Normally, I take... Notice how this is moving. I can change the amount I want. And this is the type of ratio you're looking for. You're looking for approximately two-thirds armor-piercing to high explosive. And what these are used for, I'll get to in a minute. Your mileage may vary. Your style will vary as you talk to various people in the clan. But your basic idea is two rounds of armor-piercing for every rounds of HE. You'll, that's about the ratio of use you'll have in actual battle. Once again, cost me 24 for each of these. I, ha I have 24 in my depot, so therefore I do not need to actually purchase any because I have, already have them available to me. So I resupply and automatically change it. So now I have 40 and 24. Consumables into these in a second. Basic idea is these are one shot. You use it, it goes away. If you don't use it, it's still there. These can be taken off and transferred to another vehicle. And they show up here. You notice my ammo has changed. It's gone from 40 to 24 as opposed to what it was when I came in. So I have 40 rounds available of a AP. Whatever's in this box will be automatically loaded to start with. That's your uh, default round when you start the game. You can move these around. Uh, no, it's not working. Uh, I'll find out later and add it into this. This is the, my first shot at this thing. Supposedly you can move these around and set your priority of ammo for what will load first. Okay, the next thing here, again, if you left click, it brings up the screen, left click again, and you can choose, now these you have to spend gold for, these you have to spend money for. As I said earlier, your goal initially is to get that 30 day premium, so don't, I rarely if ever spend gold on these items. Remember these are also consumables. Now remember earlier I said a green arrow says it is mounted on the vehicle. A yellow one says that this is available, I have some in my depot available to put on this tank, so that would be free for me. The difference between the ones you buy and the ones you buy for gold, if necessary, in battle you have a something that is taken out. They knock out your gun. If you use this, the gun remains repaired for the remainder of that battle. Use it once, it's gone. If the gun gets hit again, sorry, Charlie. This one only works for two minutes. So when you use it, your gun's repaired, but there's a two minute timer. At the end of that timer, it goes back to being damaged again, damaged or, or destroyed, whichever it is. First aid, when your crewman gets wounded, this brings him back to full efficiency for two minutes. This brings you back to full efficiency for the remainder of that battle. Battles last at max 15 minutes. There's a 15 minute timer. If someone's not won at the end of that 15 minutes, it's a draw and the battle ends. So you've got a up to 15 minute or two minutes within that 15, your choice when to use it. And we will accept it. And as always, if you right-click on anything, it will come up with a screen telling you what it does.
Okay, I've talked a lot about the depot. That's the next tab. This is what I have in my storage. In my storage, I currently have all, all types of vehicles are shown, but not damaged or are in battle at the moment. These are the vehicles that I have in my garage. We were looking at the Leopard. If I was to sell it, that is the amount of money I would receive for it. Again, you can select what company nation you want to look at or all. The next one is modules. Now this one is very important. The first thing you want to do when you look here is click the not compatible with my vehicles. If anything shows up on that screen, sell it. You have gone beyond that vehicle class or that vehicle type and no longer need it. It's not available. Get rid of it. My vehicles. Anything here is surplus. It's in the depot. Compared to what's on my vehicles, the word reserved will show up. Now, the way you want to look at this, I have an 88 gun, 8.8 centimeter gun mounted on one of my vehicles. There is another 8.8 .8 gun available. Tier level 7, tier level 8, supposedly this is a better gun, why don't I have it mounted? This gun is only available for the Geo Jog Panther and the Ferdinand. And I happen to have it mounted on the Jog Panther. This one can be put on any of these vehicles. I happen to have a DB available, but I have a better gun on it. So this one's in storage. If you see on this list a vehicle that you are going toward researching at the next tier or level of your line, when we get to the research screen, I'll fully amplify on this, keep it. If it does not appear in here as something that you are researching for, and I would you pass it by, I will never use it again, sell it. You'd be amazed at the number of people who have been playing this since it went to closed beta back in August that could have easily up to 4 or $5 million worth of stuff in here, and they don't know how to get rid of it. And they could easily get rid of it all and have one hell of a lot of cash coming back. Now, you never fully recover what you spent on it, but you get a significant amount back. And you can look for an individual by Sherman's. This is everything that's available for it. Notice here, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it. I don't need the turret or the engines. Now I'm doing this quickly because I already know what I'm going to aim for and I've already determined that I'm not going to go any further than the American line. So I'm not going to worry about what I could get later or what can be used later. Now you notice I just recovered a lot of money. This will be important. I also cleared up space here. <clears throat> Again, nothing useless is in the same thing with shells, same thing with equipment, same thing with consumables. The basic idea is keep track of what you've got stored. If you don't need it, sell it. store. This is where you buy new things. Usually about the only thing you're going to use in the screen is when you buy, you've researched and you're ready to buy a new tank. Where this comes in to be very important, for instance at the moment, I'm in medium vehicles. I am currently in I have one of these. I could buy one of those if I so desire. This would be the price. Premium vehicles will show up here in gold. Premium vehicles are one-shotters. They cannot be modified. They can't be upgraded. Their crew cannot be transferred to anything else. There are a uh, nice-to-have 
if you get a per if you get a one of the beta uh, keys like from Shattered Crystals that has a Valentine tank that comes with it, that's a premium tank. There's another contest in the game that gives you give you can earn a premium tank, or you can spend your gold and buy one. Again, to me, gold is only used for premium accounts and converting experience. This is where you buy, you can buy modules here as well as in the other place. I prefer to buy it here. That's a quick run at the store. You can look at your statistics by crew type, your overall results, the various medals that you have earned. For this particular tank, I've earned these medals for that crew. For this tank, I've earned these medals. If you right click again, you'll find out what it's for and what you have to do to earn it. As you can tell, I'm not a particularly successful commander. I've only had with that tank 40% wins, 60% losses. And my crew has only survived 25% of the time. So mm, maybe I'm not the best example for you. But that's for someone else to teach. I'm just teaching the garage. And my mouse is acting up. I think I'm starting to run out of memory. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave that here and amplify it again later. Just to draw this spinning out.